uh, now. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Inappropriate Movie Database. I'm Nick Martucci. I'm your host. Uh, thank you so much for, for tuning in or watching this whenever you watch it. Uh, there's, uh, if, if you're new here, uh, there's 15 other episodes that you can watch that are very good, and you should watch those after you watch this, because this is going to be a fun episode. I promise. <laughs> I don't have uh, any way to, to make that happen, uh, but uh, we're going to try. I'm really excited <laughs> for this group of people. Uh, if this Again, if this is your first time watching, this show is uh, basically silly movie trivia. I've gone to IMDB, the Internet Movie Database, and pulled parental warnings that uh, random weirdos, anonymous weirdos all over the world have submitted to try to warn you against objectionable material in movies. My guests tonight are going to try to figure out what movies I am warning you against. Basically, all movies are inappropriate, if you think about it. <laughs> uh, let me just bring them in now. I'm so excited <laughs> to have them. Uh, joining me tonight are Jeremy Wagner, Josh Pick, Mike Giordano, and Sammy Lanza. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Let me uh, talk to you individually for a second. Josh, uh, welcome back. I haven't seen you since our, uh, our, our two-episode Tournament of Champions. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that worked out real well for me. <laughs> it worked out real well for me, too. Definitely a, a fun group of people that wanted mm. to play the game. Yeah. <laughs> well, I just, I, I live for it, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> you're also d despite what you're doing you have the fifth highest score in this game yeah yeah that's that's uh crazy because i've probably seen like maybe 25 movies this century <laughs> that came out this century uh <laughs> um well we're only going to go through 12 so that should cover half of them great uh maybe that's why i do so well <laughs> <laughs> Also joining Mike Giordano. Hey. Hey, how's it going? Pretty good. I've been wanting to have you back on the show for a while. You were on episode number one, <laughs> and I haven't seen you since. Yeah, I, uh, I was uh, highly embarrassed by my poor showing. Uh, I think I came in last place in the first episode, so I had to go out into the mountains and just think about what I've done. And, <laughs> uh <laughs> Spruce up my movie back. knowledge. You're selling yourself short. <laughs> there, there are people who end this game in the negatives. You ended with oh. seven points. You're yeah, not you too haven't bad seen Tyler Dirty Act play that's this so, game. That's so much better than I did. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of one of one of my favorite uh, uh, returning guests, she's on this show a lot. Sammy Lanza. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm good. I liked the way you asked me that. That was like <laughs> that was a little sexual. I care. <laughs> How are you feeling um, about the game tonight? Oh, I am just so feeling great about it. <laughs> <laughs> I have faith in you um, this time around. I just want to get it out of the way because I think every time I'm here, I say this. I hate it here. So I'm just gonna say <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. I'm just going to say it up top so that when I get frustrated later, I don't have to like cut someone off about it. Um, but I'm, ve I'm very happy to be here. The fact that you keep coming back, that, that, that makes me so happy. <laughs> Good. Good. The fact that you keep letting me back. <laughs> oh. And uh, joining us for the first time, Jeremy Wagner. Hello. Hello. I'm now, scared right now. So wow. how, how are you feeling about this? Are you, uh, are you a movie guy at all? Um, I've seen some movies, that's true. Uh, I'm fearful now that I know that you've averaged Joshua's 15, point, 15 times here at the game and to be the fifth. <laughs> it wasn't an average. He got uh, 20 points the first time around. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, it's, it's possible to get, uh, to get up there. <laughs> okay. Now, now you Eddie, Eddie, literally anyone can do it. Uh. <laughs> now, now you're you're in a totally different time zone right now you it's 7 a.m where you are 
Yeah, I'm in the future, so. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. How's I'm Charlie? Already, I've already prepared all the answers for this. So <laughs> I is life still bad in the future? <laughs> I mean, I ain't got no hair, so I mean, you can kind of tell. <laughs> well, I am excited to see how you do. Thank you all for coming. Uh, unless there's any questions or anything anybody wants to say beforehand, I think we're going to jump right into it. Uh, Jeremy, you're the newbie. I'm going to ask you first to help me out with this game. Would you like a movie from 1987, 2002, or 2017? Uh, 87, I guess. 87. Hell yeah. Maybe I'm the oldest one here. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 1987. This movie, for five points, under the category of violence and gore, a man tries to strangle another man. <laughs> All right. Full point clue under the category of profanity. Pork is used as a euphemism for fuck once in the dialogue, but subtitles as less offensive, boink. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. I can see oh. who's saying this too. I right? What movie it is. Yeah. Yeah. It's... Oh, Mike's going to take a guess. Anybody else want to jump in? Mike, what's your guess? Cadillac Man? It is not Cadillac Man. <laughs> That's a good guess. That came out around that time, I think. Hmm. That's a strong guess. All right. Uh, four, three points. Under frightening and intense scenes, throughout the film, several characters discuss how to murder a person. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Sounds like a good night. <laughs> <laughs> it's a typical Friday here. <laughs> Okay, uh, two point oh, shit, clue. It's Friday there and now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, yes. Two point clue under violence and gore. This film is a comedy, so everything violent is mostly played for laughs. Oh, Mike has another guess. Anybody else? Josh has his hand up. Josh, I'm going to go to you first. What do you think? Planes, trains, and automobiles? Mike, what do you think? Ruthless people? It is not planes, trains, and automobiles. Are you sure? It is <laughs> not ruthless people. Oh. Mm. Ah. Well, it does feel good to eat shit. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll move on to the final clue. For one point under frightening and intense scenes... A woman is about to fall from a moving train. Mike has his hand up. Just Mike? Mm, mm -mm. I take mm, -mm. Okay. <laughs> Mike, what's this movie? Is it Throw Mama from the Train? It <laughs> is Throw Mama from the Train. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Good job, Mike. Sounds like something I made up. <laughs> I, I got a question. Do, do we get negative points for guessing? Uh, yep. Oh, you, yeah. you, you lose one point for every wrong guess. Okay. All right. Now I understand how Joshua is <laughs> so, so after that round, uh, Mike, you got it right. You're tied in second place with the negative one. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy and Sammy are in first place with zero. Hell yeah. <laughs> I already, I got my team. Go Jeremy. I'm going to cheer for you the whole time because the Lord knows I'm not going to win. Yes. Okay. I'm, I'm, wow. I'm amped up right now. Okay. All right. <laughs> uh, Josh, going to you. Would you like a movie from 1964, 1982, or 2008? 82. 82. We'll stay no, in yeah. the 80s. Yeah. 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 
Yeah. Okay. 1982. Four or five points under frightening and intense scenes. The dream sequences become increasingly scary or disturbing. Mike has a guess. Josh has a guess. Josh, what movie do you think this is? I don't know. Is it Nightmare on Elm Street? Probably isn't. Mike, what about you? Drop Dead Fred. (gasps) What's my favorite movie? It is not Nightmare on Elm Street, and it is not Drop Dead Fred. Oh, I didn't think so. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Four-point clue under frightening and intense scenes. A man is chased through a subway corridor, which builds up tension. Sammy has her hand up. Mike has I thought... Okay, sorry. (laughs) (laughs) All right, uh, Mike, I'll go to you first. Is it American Werewolf in London? Sammy, what's your guess? Jacob's Ladder. It is not Jacob's Ladder. That's okay. Is American Werewolf in London? Oh, nice, Mike. <laughs> no, I'm proud of myself for trying, and I will not do that for the rest of the game. Thank you. That's <laughs> <laughs> the lesson I try to usually learn too. Just, you know, mm-hmm. just be like Jeremy. You're dumb. <laughs> Mike, you moved up to two points. There we go. Jeremy, you're in second place with zero points. Feel free to buzz in at any point. I'm I'm going to call it quits right now, guys. (laughs) Uh, Sammy, you're at negative one. Josh, you're at negative two. Mike, I'm going to come to you now. Would you like a movie from 1995, 2003, or 2010? I'm going to go with 95. 95. Mm. 1995, for five points under violence and gore. Although nearly all the violence is off screen, its description is incredibly detailed and graphic. Okay, four point clue. (laughs) Under sex and nudity, a character says, quote, masturbating in your own feces. Mike has a guess. Anybody else? <laughs> Mike, what movie do you think this is? I think the year is is wrong for this, but uh, Dogma? <laughs> it is not Dogma. Uh, I think that was 99. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Not yet 99, yeah. <laughs> for three um, points, under frightening and intense scenes... The film has an exceptionally dark theme, story, and tone. It challenges its characters and audiences' morality by asking if there is any real value of human life in the modern world. (laughs) That's uplifting. (laughs) Uh, hmm. Oh, Jeremy has buzzed in. Go, Jeremy! What do you think it is? Uh, Clerks? (laughs) (laughs) It is not Clerks. I forget. Am I allowed to ask the second clue? I forget it. Uh, The second clue is a character says masturbating in your own feces. mm -hmm. How could I forget (laughs) that one? It's just so commonplace. (laughs) For two points under sex and nudity, Lust is one of the deadly sins utilized by the killer. Mike has his hand up. Josh is up. Sammy and Jeremy? Jeremy's going to guess. Sammy's going to guess. Everybody's in. Sammy, what do you think it is? I wish you didn't do that. Is it seven? (laughs) Jeremy, what's your guess? Seven. Josh, what about you? Seven. Mike? Uh, Seven, but the V is a seven. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) It is seven, but the uh, V is the seven. <laughs> I thought it was, yeah. Oh well. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> uh, good job, Jeremy. Go team. Yeah, thank you. We're gonna just for fun. All the way I can feel it. 
I, I, I forgot to do it for the last one, but I'll do it for this one. The final clue under violence and gore. A man admits to killing a pregnant woman by cutting her head off. The head is placed in a box and the box is shown, but not the head. <laughs> then how do we know what's in it? <laughs> what's in the box? <laughs> what's in the box? <laughs> Mike, you're up to three points. Jeremy and Sammy tied at one. Josh at zero. Everybody yeah. is uh, is is out of the negatives now. Yeah. Mm. Kevin, uh, whatever happened to the guy who played the villain in that? <laughs> <laughs> he was really good at acting, I felt like. <laughs> Sammy, where did you get your cup? From a, a Pizza Hut uh, buffet in the 90s? <laughs> probably. <laughs> That's probably exactly what happened. I probably put it in my way too big satchel of trash purse and walked yeah. out and thought it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, oh, I can't put my hand down. Hold on. Okay. All right. My hand's All right. down. All right. Now I'm going to ask you for help. Would you like a movie from 1990, 1999, or 2008? Aww. You know, I always pick the recent ones. Um, 2008. All right. You do always pick the recent ones. I do, because not, not a lot stays up here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 2008 for five points. Under alcohol, drugs, and smoking, a character's dad drinks something with his friend that seems to be a beer. Nick. What's up? Hmm. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> nothing at all. It's the cider house rules, Nick. <laughs> uh, for four points under profanity. During the baseball game, when two characters collide as they went for the baseball at the same time, when they lay on the ground, one of them laughs and quickly gives the other the bird. Okay, for oh, Sammy, you have a guess? Mm, mm, I don't know. And I don't even know if this is like, if this is the name of the movie, I'm going to mess it up. Is it the Bad News Bears remake? It is not the Bad News Bears remake. <laughs> Honestly, if that was right, I would have smashed it. It would have been amazing. <laughs> I would have been so excited. <laughs> oh, we was, don't know the movie. We can just describe for the what happened. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, for three points mm. under violence and gore. A teenage girl is attacked by another character and he breaks her leg. When a boy tries to save her, he forces them both down and throws her to, into the ground where there are many broken glass pieces. She gets stabbed by one and pulls it out. And later, the ca that character bites her arm and gives her venom. Mike has his hand up. Sammy has her hand up. What? Mike Cider has his hand rules. down. <laughs> Sammy, you're going to take another guess. Yeah, it's the first Twilight movie, okay? It is the first oh. Twilight movie. I okay. know. Oh. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's the first my Twilight movie named It's the First Twilight Movie. Okay. <laughs> are you, wait, are you trying to get my, my points taken away? I thought we were on the same team. I, I've been rooting for We were all rooting for you, Jeremy. Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Don't yell uh, at Jeremy before he's had his coffee. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. also, also in Twilight, under violence and gore, it is implied that a security guard was killed by three vampires. Later, he is seen lying dead on a hospital tray for one second or less. <laughs> and under sex and nudity, a teenage girl and a vampire kiss passionately <laughs> and <laughs> fall back on a bed. And she is wearing a t-shirt and panties. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's <laughs> How dare. has rules, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Mike and Sammy, you are now tied at first with three points. Oh, what? man. Jeremy, close behind with one. Josh, you stay at zero. Cider House Rules, buddy. <laughs> Someday. Uh, it was the best Cider House. <laughs> Jeremy, I'm going to go back to you now. Would you like okay. a movie from 1964, 1993, or 2019? Mm, 93. 93. 1993 for five points 
under profanity, called an animal's poop shit. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> some, some, a character call, referred to an animal's poop as shit? Or someone called was called... Called an animal's poop shit. Okay. <laughs> Josh has a guess. Josh, yeah. what do you think it is? Why not? Jurassic Park. Mike, what do you think it is? I was also going to guess Jurassic Park. Guess what, guys? It's Jurassic Park. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pissed. That's the kind of <laughs> autism I have. <laughs> it was a movie where a guy said he called the shit poop. And that <laughs> That's Madison, 1995. <laughs> I wrote them all down, so here's the other Jurassic Park. Mm -hmm. It's under violence and gore. The bloody leg of a goat is seen after the animal is presumably eaten. Can yeah. I change my guess? What's your guess now? <laughs> cider House Rules. Cider House Rules. <laughs> Frightening and intense scenes, a man comments that the Pirates of the Caribbean pirates, quote, don't eat the Taurus, may be difficult for children to understand due to the line relating to cannibalism. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe a children can understand cannibalism <laughs> a boy is electrocuted by a fence and falls from a great height he appears to be dead but recovers and people are killed by dinosaurs in a very gruesome <laughs> manner very intense and somewhat disturbing yeah that's a misleading uh clue where he's electrocuted but isn't dead <laughs> it's a specific well, requirement of being yeah. electrocuted <laughs> mm. Mike, you've also, extended your lead to eight points. Josh, you're right back in it with five. Sammy at three. Jeremy at one. Josh, would you like a movie from 2000, 2009, or 2020? 2000. There were movies in 2020? <laughs> <laughs> Not as far as I'm concerned. You don't remember? It was only a year ago. Nothing else yeah. has happened. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 2,000 for five points. Under sex and nudity, mild flirtation between the male character and some of the others. <laughs> Thank God that warning's out there. <laughs> <laughs> for four points, under frightening and intense scenes, the villain is very scary. And most of the scenes that involve her, especially the climax, are quite frightening. Her husband can be quite intimidating as well, but he is less scary than she is. What year was this again? This is 2000. 2000. Okay. Jeremy has a guess. Anybody what else want to jump in? Jeremy's what was back the first, down. What was the first clue? Mild flirtation between the male character oh, yeah. and some of the others. For huh. three points under violence and gore. A bad character constantly has accidents with a pie machine. <laughs> Josh, I think, has given up. <laughs> yeah, no, I've checked out of this one. <laughs> a pie machine? Well, we can guarantee that it's not Cider House Rules, guys. So we got that. Yeah. Yeah. It might be Piter House Rules. <laughs> oh, it might be. It might be Cider oh. House Pies. <laughs> I don't know. For two points under violence and gore, a hen is carried by her neck and gets beheaded off screen. Sammy has that, a guess. Anybody isn't else? That every movie? <laughs> Sammy, what is your guess? Chicken Run. It is oh, chicken run. Yeah. <laughs> I was pretty sure it was a kid's movie, but oh, okay. I knew the pies were in there somewhere. Nah, it unlocked it. <laughs> the male character. Oh. Frightening and intense scenes. Most of the movie has a heavy lean towards movies about POWs with the animal animals oh. in the camps and the barbed wire all around. Not I don't only think... that, but the imminent feel of death and how they know they're going to be killed and made into pot pie. That, that person like was kind of triggered. Prisoner to me. It's <laughs> ironic. It's ironic starring a, a famous uh, Holocaust denier. <laughs> mm. I'm, I'm impressed Chicken Run affected someone that much. <laughs> that hurt. <laughs> Sammy, you've jumped into second place tied with Josh at five. 
Sure wow. stay at one. Mike, you stay Ayo. at eight. Mike, would you Cider like House a movie sure from 1998, does. 1999, or 2019? Let's go with 98. 98. Nineteen ninety eight for five points. Under violence and gore, main character is beaten up by the police during an interrogation. Good. Good cool. start. <laughs> for four points under alcohol, drugs, and smoking, a man drugs a dog and accidentally spikes a woman's alcoholic drink with it causing her to get hyper. Mm. All right, for three points, under violence and gore, main character gets into a fight with a small dog that bites him in the groin. He eventually gets the dog off his crotch and it's thrown out the window. Mike has a guess, anybody else? Jeremy has his hand up. Sammy has her hand. I up. didn't. I don't. I didn't. Sammy has her that. hand back down. <laughs> down. <laughs> Josh, you're still thinking. Yeah. No. No. All right, Jeremy. What movie do you think this is? Uh, I wanted to go with Cider House Rules, but I think I'm gonna go with There's Something About Mary. There's something about Mary, Mike. Uh, what do you think? There's something about Mary. Uh, there yeah. is something about Mary. Yeah. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. God damn it. I'll allow it. <laughs> I knew it was somewhere in the. Uh, well, it was either, it oh, was either well. Mary or uh, Janet was the other woman I wanted to say something about Janet. <laughs> <laughs> Violence something and gore. About this dog. <laughs> Violence and gore. <laughs> grotesque male nudity. Main <laughs> character inadvertently spots his date changing while urinating, then hastily zips up his pants, catching himself mm. in his zipper. An extreme close-up of his mangled genitals is seen, <laughs> and is later implied that he starts bleeding, but we don't see any blood. <laughs> and under sex and nudity, of course, a man is seen masturbating, not shown just arm movements, but we see the semen on his ear later, <clears throat> and a woman mistakes it for hair gel and puts it in her hair. Freaking beans! <laughs> <laughs> Mike, you've jumped up to 11 points. Josh and Sammy still tied at four. Jeremy, not Ooh. far behind it. Oh, they're, you're tied at five. Jeremy, you're at four. All right. Bringing up the rear. So it's still anybody's game. Uh, come on, Josh. I, I dropped Jeremy. It's, it's us now. <laughs> All right. You hear that, Jeremy? <laughs> Go, back back to Jeremy. Wait. Go back Are to your piece of shit future world. <laughs> We're a little more than halfway through right now. We're in the past and we left. like it here. <laughs> so quickly she's changed. Mm -hmm. uh, Sammy, I think we're on to you. Would you okay. like a movie from 1990, 2010, or 2015? Mm, 2010. 2010. Not the newest movie. I did that because we talked about it last time and I panicked. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is all in the strategy. <laughs> And you got your last one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. 2010 for five points. Under frightening and intense scenes, some battle scenes are really tension-filled and intense. Good. It's good. Or else they'd be bad. 2010. Yeah. That would be a bad battle scene. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> For four points under violence and gore, a teenager pushes another boy to the ground, prompting him to react, then kicks him repeatedly. Oh. This was a year that I watched movies. I should know what this is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, for three points under alcohol, drugs, and smoking, a man is drunk. A bottle with a Chinese label is seen briefly next to him. Oh, man. <laughs> Stupid 2010. <laughs> okay. uh, oh, I Jeremy has a guess. What do you think uh, it is? Scott Pilgrim versus the world. 
it is not Scott Pilgrim versus uh, that the That would have been awesome. <laughs> yeah. Would have been yeah, proud of you. That would have been so cool for you. <laughs> Don't, come Don't come back. You would have really enjoyed that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, for two points under violence and gore. <laughs> Multiple scenes of martial arts fighting. Some are brief and mild, but others may seem brutal and intense for younger viewers. None contain blood and or excessively graphic blows. Jeremy, is your hand still up or is it not? Oh, no, no. Not, I mean, it was. It was right uh-huh. here, but not, no. Okay. Mike has a guess. Anybody else want to jump in? Mike, what movie do you think this is? Is it the Karate Kid remake with Lil Bow Wow? Hmm. I don't know if I should give that to you because Lil Bow Wow isn't. Oh, that's that not movie. Lil Bow Wow. Can I raise it's, my hand? It's Jaden Smith in the Karate <laughs> yes. Kid remake. Yes. <laughs> that was 2010. I know that's. I thought of that movie, yeah. but I didn't know that came out in 2010. That movie is 11 years old. <laughs> Holy shit! Hmm. It's like wow. our history is not even there anymore. <laughs> Man. Yeah. Uh, also in the Karate Kid under violence and gore. During the final Kung Fu Open tournament, there are various instances of hard contact during the various specta- spectacular fights. A teen has his legs severed. I don't think that happens, but continues to fight. There is a close up of the severed leg. Opponents are knocked down and brutally hit, even after being down and having given up. A man tells a teenager to broke his opponent leg. He does so, and then his <laughs> opponent continue fighting and defeat him. <laughs> wow! Well, I don't. I don't. Hmm. Sounds like Mortal Kombat. Uh huh. Also, the Karate Kid remake is about kung fu. <laughs> 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 well, I wanted to name it Kung Fu Kid, but that's too many K's. <laughs> <laughs> also, and I, I, I think this is the second episode I've brought this up, but I just love this. In the first movie, uh, Miyagi's telling him to wax on, wax off, and that sounds a little dirty. So in the remake, they don't do that. He has him <laughs> taking off his coat saying jack it on and jack it off. <laughs> oh. yeah, I remember you uh, saying that. Uh, funny. Keep, Good one. keep that fun Good. fact alive. Next Good. time you're on the show, I'll find Good a way to say joke. it. I love that. <laughs> okay. Uh, we got four movies left. This is the last go around. Uh-huh. Mike, you're at 13. Josh and Sammy still tied at five. Hell Jeremy yeah. At three. <laughs> Would you guys like to donate any points to me as a newcomer? <laughs> you, guys, you guys can do that. Uh, yeah, two bucks a point. <laughs> <laughs> do you in the future, you can afford it. <laughs> this do is the best I have uh, ever done. Means dong. <laughs> yes. <laughs> there's, mm. there's a possible 20 points to be had. This is still anybody's game. <laughs> Jeremy. Would you like a movie from 1960, 1976, or 2004? 2004. No, coward. Yeah. 2004 for five points. Under frightening and intense scenes, the film's overall tone is rather somber and depressing. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Noted. For four points under alcohol, drugs, and smoking, the villain smokes a cigar in one scene. Another character also smokes a cigar. Oh, boy. Jeremy has a <laughs> yes. Anybody else? Jeremy, cigar what movie do you think this is? Is this the Princess Bride? <laughs> 2004's Princess Bride? <laughs> 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 it's not the princess bride <laughs> close it's also the movie i immediately think for every one of these clues yeah you know i said that once <laughs> cigars <laughs> for three points under sex and nudity a woman's nipples are shown through her wet dress it's brief and less noticeable than in the first film <gasps> Ooh, I see what you did there. 
I see it. Mike I don't know the answer, yes. but I see oh, it. Oh, wait, no. Did I'm, you I'm post a visual? Because I wasn't posted a visual. I didn't see it. I, mean, I, can re- I, I can reenact this if you want. Oh, no, no. <laughs> yes. Still, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for two points okay, under nipples violence and cigars. <laughs> the train fight is very intense. We can see the hero's suit getting ripped over his body. Mike is up again this time. Is he going to stay up? Train fight. Nobody else has <laughs> That's the question right there. <laughs> Mike, what movie is this? Matrix Reloaded. It is not Matrix no. Reloaded. Josh, uh, what do you think? That was an accident. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right, we'll go to the one point clue. Wait. Wait. Oh. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. Sammy? Wait. Is it Spider Man <laughs> Two? <laughs> two. <laughs> it, is Spider-Man? Yeah. Oh. Wow. Nice. I, was about to I remember. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow! I'm so glad that wait was worth it. That would have yeah. been traumatic for nothing. <laughs> the final clue under frightening and intense scenes: there is a scene where the villain's mechanical arms attack doctors in a surgery room after the doctors try and cut them off to save him. This is the uh, darkest yeah. scene in the entire film and has it the feel like of a that. horror movie. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mike, you stay at 13. Sammy, you have jumped up to second place at seven. Yes. Josh, you're at five. Jeremy, you're Still at love two. you, Josh. That's fine. Nobody's in the negatives. <laughs> I'm rooting for you. <laughs> <laughs> Go team. I hope we all win. Because I know you'll share that 10 bucks with me. There's no 10 bucks still. No <laughs> one's giving me 10 bucks today. <laughs> Listen, if I came here for no 10 bucks, I swear to God. Mike, would you Have like plans. a movie from 1925, mm-hmm. 1974, or 1996? Mm, 96. 96. For some reason, nobody ever wants that movie from 1925. Only like four of them came out that year, I think. <laughs> it's probably, yeah, it might not be. Mm, nope, I don't know why I'm okay. acting like it's going to be easy. Fish. <laughs> four or five points under profanity, 1996. Almost all uses of fuck are said by one character. Fuck. You're the character. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> Under sex and nudity for four points, a woman's bare bottom is seen as she runs down a hallway naked. Very brief. Woo! There's a visual on that, naked. Not on that. We'll we'll post all the sources in the the, uh, comments after the show. I know a much easier way for you to see a naked butt on the internet. <laughs> just give just ten dollars. <laughs> Good. Damn. We're a unit right now, all of us. I'm, I'm about it. <laughs> for three points under frightening and intense scenes. Unlike many violent movies, this is not intense and instead plays with violence in a dark comedy manner. So while it has shooting and blood, the majority of it, in a strange way, comes out to be funny. Mike has a guess. Anybody else want to come? No. Josh is raising his real hand and then his fake hand. What? Josh, I'm going to go to you first. I don't have a hand. No, not Josh. I'm sorry, Jeremy. That's all right. My brother's name's Josh. Uh, (laughs) Oh, I was thinking of him. That's all right. My name's Josh. (laughs) What do you think, Jeremy? I think you should give me 10 bucks for that. uh, I'm thinking Romeo and Juliet. Mike, what do you think? I was going to say falling down, but I think Jeremy might be right. Well, it's not falling down. And it's not Romeo and Juliet. Oh, boy. (laughs) Oh, oh, bother. (laughs) (laughs) Josh, what, what you doing? (laughs) <laughs> i'm not doing anything no. Nick. what are you how are you how are you I'm pretty good you okay <laughs> fine all right let's get back to this movie for two points Mine under alcohol drugs and smoking 
some random characters are seen drinking in pubs and bars. One of the kidnappers smokes many cigarettes. Kidnappers. Hmm. Uh, oh, Mike is up. Mike, what do you think? The big hit? It is not the no. big hit. You have such a good game show answer oh, tone, thank Cadence. You. I used it's to watch so Who good. Wants to Be a Millionaire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. I just remembered this was live. Sorry. <laughs> just, it just popped in there. <laughs> is, is there something wrong with that? I wasn't paying attention. No, no, nope. I hope nope. not. Okay. <laughs> Are we still on YouTube? <laughs> We'll go to the final clue for one point under violence and gore. One man approaches another with an axe and takes a swing, though the impact is not seen on screen, rather implied. Later, the same man is shown clearly putting the other's body through a wood chipper. Quite graphic. Mike has another guess. Josh's hand is up. And real Josh, Sammy is up. Hmm. Jeremy, do you have anything? Uh, No. Okay, Sammy, what movie is this? Is it Fargo? Josh, what do you think? Cider has Fargo. <laughs> Mike, do you agree? Fargo. It is Fargo. I was wow. Say Fargo as well, but... <laughs> wow, none of those, none of those rang a bell, huh? That seems. <laughs> I've actually never seen Fargo. It's a running bit with my my old roommates used to watch it a lot, oh. so I refuse to. Um, <laughs> and I'm very excited. I just got that right. Just, just a little insight on my life. I've never seen Fargo. You should. I think I can't now because the bit's like 10 years long. <laughs> I think oh, I need yeah. to die without yeah. seeing Fargo. Uh, that's, that's, that's valid. <laughs> okay. Argue with that, with that. Two movies left. <laughs> Mike, you're still at 12. Ooh. Sammy, you're at 8. Josh, you're at 6. Jeremy, I'm you're at, at six. 1. I'm coming back this way. Oh, you're at... Uh, yeah, you're at 6. I'm at 6. You're at 6. I'm at six. It's almost anybody's game. <laughs> uh, Mike, would you like a movie from 1971, 1978, or 2003? Um, 1978. 78. Okay, 1978 for five points. Under frightening and intense scenes, the music and general mood of the film is rather bleak, surreal, and intense. Hmm. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> All right, for four points under violence uh. and gore. Oh, Josh, what do you think of this? <laughs> Dune! <laughs> I think Dune came out like four years later. I just wanted to say Dune in a funny way. I have no idea when it came <laughs> out. Well, well, you should see. I think it I came out in the 80s, funny. but I'm not sure. Uh, but All it's right. fun to say Dune! For four points under violence and gore, a character gets shot off screen. We see his wound getting healed on screen. People got healed in 1978. <laughs> <laughs> Did back then? We know. For three points under frightening and intense scenes, the film is notorious for its dark content and strong violence. Parents will have to view the film for themselves before showing it to their children, unless they are mature enough. Yeah, you should parent your children. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> I feel like I feel like that was just an explanation of the section of IMDb. Right. <laughs> huh. For two points under sex and nudity. During a meeting between two brothers and the chief, the chief mentions that they are in the middle of May, which is mating season. Hmm. 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 Mm -mm. I, I like the number eight. <laughs> <laughs> For one point under violence and gore, there is some strong violence in this film. It solely involves animals, predominantly rabbits, but it can still get pretty disturbing. 
feel like this is some cowboy movie I'm unfamiliar Mike has with. A guess. <clears throat> Only one guess on the final. Though Josh has disappeared. I'm just seeing that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Slater oh, has rules. Back. <laughs> Mike, what is this movie? Is it Watership Down? It is Watership mm. Down. You literally I couldn't think of, of the name of it. Mm. <laughs> It's the prequel to Cider House Rules. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Spiritual. Yeah. 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 Spiritual predecessor. <laughs> okay. It's close, but it. not a runaway going into the final movie. God damn Mike, it. you're at 13. Sammy, you can oh. tie him. You're at eight. Josh, you're at five. Jeremy, you're, you're still at one. <laughs> and Sammy, one. you're going to pick the final movie. All right. Would you like a movie from 1961, 1980, or 1989? Mm, 89. 89. You always pick the most recent. <laughs> I always say that about you. <laughs> well, he well, does. The he rumors are true. Me. He called me yesterday. <laughs> uh, spread the word. All Try right. Get him off the phone for a whole hour. <laughs> This final movie came out in 1989 for five points. Under alcohol, drugs, and smoking, a woman spots a man flying and tells her husband. What year is this again? 1989. We have two hands up. Sammy, you don't want to take a guess? <clears throat> nope. Okay. <laughs> I Josh, what movie do you think this it's is? It's The Incredible Flag Man and the Adventure of <laughs> Cigarette Woman 2. <laughs> I have no idea what it is, Nick. Mike, do Game's you have almost idea over. <laughs> Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Mike, that you did have come officially out run away with the game. It nice is Honey, job, I buddy. Shrunk the Kids. <laughs> Boo. Um, He's done. Oh. Hey, I should have gotten that. Job. I should have. I see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Did I send you my address for the $10? <laughs> <laughs> it has I'll to take go singles. Through. I have That's to fine. launder it, though. It goes through <laughs> me and then. All right. Uh, well, let's finish that up because there's a bunch of clues. You'll still see left. an alarmingly <laughs> small percentage of that. <laughs> If these would have helped anybody else under frightening and intense scenes, ah. an ant dies after fighting a scorpion. Very sad. I would have, I would have gotten that, yeah. but yeah. Mm -hmm. I saw this in the theaters. Children constantly fall, slide, and are attacked by insects. A boy yeah. cuts his lip and blood is shown running down his chin. A boy bruises his chin and it leaves a red mark. A girl drowns but is revived by a boy giving her mouth to mouth. <laughs> Alcohol drinks and soaking. Children use a giant cigarette to light torches. And frightening and intense scenes. Action, adventure, violence. An animated boy and girl are terrorized by several household appliances during the opening credits. A boy <laughs> and his friend ride a bee very high in the air, constantly threatened with falling. Children are threatened with a lawnmower in a very intense scene. Hmm. The final hmm. battle between a scorpion and an ant could be intense and frighten younger viewers. Peril exists throughout the movie. Uh, <laughs> a, a bit of trivia about this movie. Um, it was actually, uh, it started life as a rewrite of Jaws 2. Is that true? Yep. <laughs> Don't fact check it. I literally can't react. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, that was Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Our oh. final scores tonight, Jeremy at one point, uh, Josh at four points, Sammy at eight points, Woo. Mike, the runaway winner tonight at Hell 18 yeah. points. Champion. Yeah, Mike. Good job. Thank Impressive. You. And that's an appropriate movie database. Uh, thank you to all of my guests. You were all wonderful. Yeah. Uh, before oh, we go... Before we go, if there's anything you want to say, anything you want to promote, anywhere you want to be found, uh, Jeremy, I'll start with you. I'm probably going to be crying today. It is <laughs> good time now. I can't go back to sleep, so I'll probably just be crying about this. <laughs> you can find me in the bathroom. That's where I do my crying. This is a, a terrible first thing in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Way to start my day. <laughs> All right, that's Jeremy Wagner. Josh. 
Yeah. Uh, Monday, uh, O'Brien's at 8 p.m. Uh, I got uh, Gary uh, Peterson headlining a show with, uh, with Angela Sawyer and Rob Crean and Carl G and Mary Spadaro that I'll be hosting. I think it's a eight or that I think it's an eight dollar show uh, at O'Brien's lineup. in Austin. I know, right? Uh, come on out. That's going to be a, a fucking hoot. Uh, Wednesday, you can come to the model uh, where I, I host uh, an open mic. Um, uh, get there early, though. Uh, Friday, I'll be at New Year's, uh with, uh, I think, Angela that's Sawyer true. is headlining that show. Uh, that's that's like, I think an 8 p.m. show. Uh, that, go to those things. Yes, yeah. Go to those things. <laughs> what city uh, is that, Josh? I might have to come visit you. Boston. Okay, I'll be there. Hell yeah. We're in the past back here, so <laughs> please don't cancel me. We always have been. <laughs> <laughs> like a living history farm of the city. <laughs> uh, I just Mike. realized you can't hear anything. Um, well, uh, I'm not doing any uh, indoor shows anytime soon, but uh, I've been doing some outdoor shows over at um, the uh, Remnant Brewing Company in uh, Bow Market in Somerville. Massachusetts. Uh, that's every Sunday at seven o'clock. Uh, they raise money for charity there to mostly improv. Um, and the other half of my improv duo, uh, Kylie Rolinchik, will be uh, uh, there this Sunday uh, as uh, Professor Dingus. Uh, so I re <laughs> recommend nice. checking her out. Uh, she does <laughs> insane, uh, crazy comedy. Awesome. Uh, Sammy and guest. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is my husband Steve. Um uh what it Hi, husband, Chatham, Steve. New Hampshire? Chatham, Chatham, New Hampshire. Chatham, yeah. Toad Hill Music Festival, Chatham, New Hampshire. Our band Root Beer Circus is playing. So, you know. August twenty first. August twenty first. What? Oh yeah. Did, Why do did I he do that? Did he come into frame just to force you to, to plug that? <laughs> no, I actually forced him. <laughs> To come into frame <laughs> to plug it with me. There was real like I, hostage vibes to that. <laughs> that's, 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 he was like sniffing my shoulder. I thought I was ruining everything. Send help. Send help. Good Send help. You know what? I can't even you can't sniff people's this. shoulders after marriage. I'm not getting married. <laughs> <laughs> One more time, my guests tonight Jeremy Wagner, Josh Pick, Mike Giordano, <laughs> Sammy, and Steve Lanza. Uh, I'm yeah. your teacher. You can find me on all the social media at Blundering Idiom. Uh, we do this show Mondays and Thursday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern Time right here on this channel you're watching this on. Uh, you should check out Monday night's show. It's going to be a theme show. All the movies have to do with music. Uh, if that interests you, that's uh, that's going to be the first theme show. So I'm nope. excited to try that. <laughs> and, Hell yeah. Uh, if you're watching this show and you think it looks fun, if you've been on before or if you, you've never been on, reach out to me, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, and ask. I want to have you on this show. I think it's a good time. Most of my guests tend to like it. I don't want to speak for all of them, but I think you'll fun. enjoy it. And, you, can, uh, you can quote me. <laughs> I've done it like four or five <laughs> times now, I think. It's fun. All right. Ringing endorsements. Please join me again next Monday, 8 p.m. Eastern, for another episode of Inappropriate Movie Database. Thank you so much for watching. Woo! All right, oh, we are off. Yeah.